28th day. God looked down at his planned paradise and said, I need a cow doctor. So God made a cow vet. God said, I need somebody that will take a call at 3 a.m., drive an hour to a 30 cow tie stall, perform a C-section, drive an hour back, grab a bite to eat, and then gas up the truck to head back out on the road for a 12-hour day. So God made a cow vet. He said, I need somebody that will give up their weekend to take farm calls and to tell their families, maybe next weekend. I need somebody to give a bottle of calcium to a down cow, pull a nail out of a reticulum, replace an apple mason from either side, fix sore feet, and ease pain. And somebody that with a sprained wrist or banged up hand will still palpate a hundred cows for the old timer down the road after they just helped him pull his feed wagon out of the mud. So God made a cow vet. He said, I need somebody soft enough to buy Girl Scout cookies and tell stories. Yet tough enough to hold back the tears when they put down a 12-year-old farm dog. Someone that will reschedule their day to splint the broken leg of a newborn lamb. It had to be someone who's honest and fair and not cut corners. Someone to cut, stitch, push, pull, and treat mastitis and scours and pneumonia and pink eye and field necropsy, the ones that don't make it. Someone to pull out their BCF ultrasound to check a cow that's four times bred and then look at the farmer and with smiling eyes tell him they just found the flicker of a beautiful heartbeat. So God made a cow vet.